today. Wait, wait, wait. Use my thumb to block. Hey, Jew, hold on one second. If he grabs my wrist, go ahead and grab it. I slap him right in the fucking face. And, and I pull off. All right, pause it for one second. Touch my head. Oh, Touch my okay. head. Okay, when you do a wrist lock, why can't the guy just punch you? And here's what I'm going to say. All right, start. Come on. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Coach Tim. I'm with one of my favorite students, DeAngelis. This is his last time training with me because he's about to move to another city. So I'm going to use him for this way that we're going to answer the three most common, three most apologetic questions when regarding Hapkido, Aikido or any wrist twisting as Jiu-Jitsu martial arts. And just so everyone knows, yeah, Hapkido comes from Daito Ru Aiki Jiu-Jitsu, the father art of uh, grabs. Back then, they would grab people's wrists before they grabbed their samurai sword out. So people ask now, when are you ever going to get your wrist grabbed? In many different ways, if I was having a confrontation with this guy, I was like, look, I'm going to tell you, oh my God, he grabbed my wrist because he didn't want me to put my, my finger in his face. Now he's holding pretty tight. I'm trying to pull away. So from right there, I'm going to twist around. Oh my gosh, look how his arm locked up just from the twist. Now, instead of me grabbing this way or grabbing with my elbow up, it's fine if I grab the elbow up, but I can only do certain wrist locks. Now, I'm going to grab here and twist off. Now, from twisting off right there on a scale one through 10, yeah, it probably hurts like uh, maybe a, a four, five, but if I hand it over to this hand and twist through, now it really hurts. And I can escort him anywhere we want to go. Which is the next question. People say, hey, when you do a wrist lock, why can't the guy just punch you? And here's what I'm going to say. Touch my head. Touch my oh, head. Shit. Touch my okay. head. Uh, he's already tapping. Oh. Okay, stop. You okay? So let's put Hep Keto grabs into three um, difficulty levels. When you first start doing Hep Keto for self-defense, it shouldn't even be about a wrist grab. If he grabs my wrist, go ahead and grab it. I slap him right in the fucking face. That's one. If he grabs my wrist, go ahead and grab. I'll break right there and take him straight down. That's number two. But once I get really good at hep keto, once I understand hep keto, and I don't necessarily need to hurt this guy, he grabs my wrist, boom, 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 boom. And then I can just escort him somewhere. Okay, so we've answered the first question. Yeah, people still grab wrists all the time, many confrontations. We answered the second question. Why would you try to escort someone? That's thirdly. First, I just want to neutralize them, maybe hit them. Second, I want to break them, put them straight down. Third, if he's still grabbing, if it's a different situation, maybe I'll go into my escort. Let's talk about escort today. So again, he grabs my wrist. Once he grabs my wrist, I'm gonna use my thumb to block. So I turn over just enough to hand it. I don't want to turn too much, go ahead, because we get stuck in this and no one's gonna hold on still. He's gonna let go and hit me. So as I turn, I almost bring it to my other hand. He grabs, boom, I've stopped his wrist. So I turn and I stop. Now I get a big chunk of his fingers right there. If I were to twist my whole body, he turns. But as I step through, I'm gonna hand to this hand. Twist and hand. You see that? Now I have his fingers, his wrist, his elbow, everything, and we can take a walk somewhere. One more time, he grabs my wrist. I want to turn, go ahead and hold it as hard as you can. Ah, it's hard, so I bring my body down to grab. I've turned his wrist around and I've secured it. Now I step through and I escort him or take him wherever I want to go. If he looks like he's going to punch me, go ahead. I just twist. So when it comes to have keto or any wrist twisting martial art, yeah, twisting a man's wrist, maybe not the first thing I want to do. But if he holds on long enough, three strikes, you're out. He grabs me, I might hit him. He puts his hands on me too hard, I might put him in a submission, take him down. He puts his hands on me, doesn't let go, I'm going to break him and escort him out of there. Thank you. Thinking of escorts. Have a good time where you're about to move to. Come to my house today. I'm going to give you a flashy gi for free on me.